Hi everyone, Dutch Reefer here. Welcome to this new episode of Focus Friday. Recently, uh, one of the viewers, one of the subscribers, asked in the comments if I could make a video about uh, fish and their uh, their job, the job they have in the tank. So, the the use they have to keep them. So, obviously, one of the uh, one of the reasons to buy a fish for your reef tank is because you like it, because you like the color, because you like the behavior. Um, uh, but another reason to buy a fish is because it controls a pest or because it eats something that you want to get rid of. So there's uh, an obvious difference between fish you buy because you like them and fish you buy because they have a clear function in your tank. Uh, of course it can be both, uh, uh, which I will show you, but uh, well, there's a, there's a choice to make. Uh, you can have all kind of useful fish um, that are eating uh, pests but of course you also want some that, that look really nice uh, because overall you want your reef tank to look uh, to look great so I'll show you uh, show you my fish and uh, discuss the ones that uh, have a, a function in the tank other than looking pretty so let's start off with the uh, with the sand sifter right here. This is the white fish that I'm zooming in on right now. It's uh, it's grown quite large over the past few months. Um, when I bought it, it was half its size. And what it does is it sifts the sand, so it keeps the sand moving. And although it doesn't do it right now, usually what it does is taking mouth full of sand and then uh, filtering it through its uh, to its mouth and then that way it's uh, it's it keeps the sand in motion and preventing uh, too much algae from going on top of it so that's why I bought this fish um, I also like the way it looks but well not that much it's uh, its main function is yeah look to keep the sand clean then directly behind that there's a, a a leopard star res. Um, it's the female. As you can see, it takes bites at the stuff that the sand shifting fish just spit out. So that's one of the, its functions: is to uh, to eat all kind of little pests, worms, everything. Uh, and one of the most common uses for the blue star leopard res. Here's the male right now, the blue one, is that it also eats flatworms. So as you you might have uh, had flatworms or have heard of them. They are tiny flatworms, that's why they're called flatworms, which can infest your coral. They can be on uh, soft corals, LPS, but they can also be on, uh, on SPS corals. They can even be on your sand if you're unlucky. Um, and uh, rests are usually very good fish. For example, these blue star leopard rats, but also the yellow ones and the green ones, they are uh, experts at eating flatworms. So if you're having flatworms, please consider buying a res or two, uh, because they, uh, well, they're good cleaners. One of the other fish that I bought because, uh, because I needed it is this, uh, yeah, this fox face, I forgot the name. The fox face is uh, uh, a, a nice fish to keep, but in my opinion, it's not. It's it's nice to look at, but it's not that beautiful. It mainly serves a purpose, and that's eating algae, and especially uh, green bubble algae, which is also called Valonia. Uh, it's a real pest to have in your tank, and this fish is uh, uh, usually eating it. So a few months back I noticed that uh, all of a sudden I saw uh, green bubble algae popping up everywhere and that's when I realized I had to buy a, a fox face. I had them before, I had this one, I had a Magnifica which is uh, more grey, uh, And uh, but this one was at the LFS, it was really small back then. Uh, so I, uh, And it has done a really great job, it has uh, got my tank, uh, it, it's, it rid my tank of the bubble algae so there's no more bubble algae at least not that much anymore 
now and then you uh, you'll see one or two bubbles but this one takes good care of it and then another fish which I've told you about before the copper band it's also a fish that I uh, keep for a reason well first of all it's because I think it's one of the most beautiful fish that you can keep in a reef tank um, but the other thing is that it's very good at eating Artesia or glass anemones as you might know them. Artesia is the most common name. Um, it's something that I think every reefer has to, had to deal with uh, uh, in their reef tank. If you have one long enough the chances will, improve, will, will grow that you will eventually encounter them. Um, there are still some in my tank to be fair, uh, but they are in the sump, so uh, that's not a problem. The, this fish can't get in the sump, obviously, so it uh, it's looking for them uh, in the tank. Some and well, I never saw uh, an Artesia in my tank for one and a half years now, so it's doing a good job. Maybe I can show you that there's still some in my sump, although I think it's a little hard to show you. Turn the lights on to show you the difference. Ah, yes, if you look closely, you might see them here. Mm, it's a bit obfuscated because it's not that clean, but on this pump, there are some Hyptasia. Sometimes I'll, uh, you see them throughout the tank. Ah, oh, there's one here that's very visible. So they're definitely in my tank, but they're not in the main, the main display. So that's the most important part, keeping them out of the display. So then there's one more fish that I keep for a reason. It's also called a lawnmower, and it has that name for a reason. That's this fish. I think this, the, the real name you have to use is Salarias. Um, it doesn't literally look like a fish. It looks more like a hybrid between a fish and a, a, some other slimy creature. But it's very good at eating algae. So, uh, any alga, be it small alga or more macro alga, it will uh, definitely uh, like that, and it will uh, will eat it whenever it uh, shows up. For example, there might be some alga growing on the side of your tank, like near the the edges, like this, if you as you can see, and the salarias, but also, for example, tanks, they will eat that. So there will still be a little bit left but they will eat the biggest parts so that you don't have to look at it. I do have one Tomini tang in my tank. Um, it's a small gray tang which, will, which you might have seen. It's a bit shy so it won't show up that much when I'm near the tank. But that's also eating algae. So a lot of tanks, a lot of, a lot of fish are, are uh, good at eating algae. There are some fish that eat pests like flatworms uh, or other kind of worms, bristle worms. Um, and there's uh, there's fish that uh, that eat that will eat uh, and then glass glass uh, glass anemones like uh, glass roses like aptasia and that's the uh, the copper band. So all in all, those are my uh, utility fish. As you can see right now on the front, there's the tang that I just mentioned, the Tomini tang. It's uh, swimming on the bottom left right now, looking at the at the sand, probably picking away at some of the uh, algae. And uh, well, those are my utility fish. So I have some other fish as you as you can see, some uh, antias, um, some dragonets. They are not there for uh, for a function, they're just there because I like them. And uh, all in all, these are the fish in my reef tank. So I hope you uh, liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.